Maasim, Acts 20. And after the uproar was ceased, Paul called unto him the Talmudim, and embraced them, and departed for to go into Macedonia. And when he had gone over those parts, and had given them much exhortation, he came into Greece, and there abode three months. And when the Yaudim laid wait for him, as he was about to sail into Aram, he proposed to return through Macedonia, and there accomplished, rather accompanied him, into Asia, Sopater of Berea, and of the Thessalonikim, Aristarchus, and Segundus, and Gaius of Derby, and Timotheus, and of Asia, Tychius, and Tromphemus. These going before tarried for us at Troas. And we sailed away from Philippi, rather Philippi, after the days of Matsa, and came unto them to Troas in five days, where we abode seven days. And upon the first Shabbat, rather, and upon the first Shabbat, when the Talmudim came together to break bread, Shaul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber, where they were gathered together. And there sat in a window a certain young man named Eutychus, being fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep, and fell down from the third loft, and was taken up dead. And Paul went down, and fell on him, and embracing him, said, Trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. When he therefore was come up again, and had broken bread, and eaten, and talked a long while, even till break of day, so he departed. And they brought the young man alive, and were not a little comforted. And when, rather, and we went before to ship, and sailed unto Assos, there intending to take in Paal, for so had he appointed, minding himself to go afoot. And when he met with us at Assos, we took him in, and came to Mytilene, and we sailed thence, and came the next day over against Chios, and the next day we arrived at Samos, and tarried at Tro Troglium, and the next day we came to Miletus. For Paul had determined to sail by Ephesus, because he would not spend the time in Asia. For he hasted, if it were possible for him, to be at Yerushalayim, the day of the feast of Shavuot. And from Miletus he sent to Ephesus, and called the elders of the called-out assembly. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know... From the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner eth I have been with you at all seasons, serving eth Yahuwah with all humility of mind, and with many tears, and temptations, which befell me by the lying in wait of the Yahudim, and how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you, and have taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the Yahudim and also to the Yavanim, repentance toward Yahuwah and faith toward our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. And now, behold, I go bound in the Ruach unto Yerushalayim, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Ruach HaKadosh witnesses in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me, 
neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry which I have received of Adonai Yahusha, to testify the Besorah of the grace of Yahuwah. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching at the kingdom of Yahuwah, shall see my face no more. Wherefore I take you to record this day, that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahuwah. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Ruach HaKadosh has made you overseers, to feed the called-out assembly of Yahuwah, which he has purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away Talmudim after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn everyone night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to Yahuwah and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of Adonai Yahusha, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had thus spoken, he kneeled down and prayed with them all. And they all wept sore and fell on Paal's neck and kissed him, sorrowing most of all for the words which he spoke, that they should see his face no more. And they accompanied him unto the ship.